This ain't your mama's plate rack. It's like a plate rack on steroids. Here's what you need to build this floating plate rack. Four one by two by eights, three one by four by eights, one one by three by eight, three two by six by eights, a table saw, a miter saw, a drill, a nailer, and a Craig jig. Didn't catch that? Download the free plans, they're on our website. The first step is to rip down those two by six boards and you're gonna take a little bit off of each side so we have nice smooth edges for the shelves. Next, we used our miter saw to make all of our cuts for the rack and for the shelves. Next, we used our Craig jig to drill all of our pocket holes. So the beauty of this, guys, is that we've already made all of our cuts, already made all of our pocket holes, now we just gotta get the sucker put together. First things first, let's assemble the ladders. Now it's time to attach the rungs where we made those marks on the sides of the ladders. Make sure that all of your pocket holes are facing the same direction. You want them to face up. Now we are going to attach the other side of that ladder, that other long piece. So we're going to add some glue to the end of each of those rungs, place the longer piece on top, and we'll nail those down with one and a quarter inch bread nails. Look at that. Oh, that just shows how square you cut everything. Heck yeah. Now it's time to join the two ladders together, and we're doing that with one by three cleats. We've already drilled the pocket holes in the cleats and you want them to face backwards and you're going to attach them right above where those rungs are attached. Don't forget wood glue and we're going to attach them with one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. Belly cam! So this is where we're at right now. You'll have one ladder piece with the cleats on top and now it's time to attach the second ladder. So we're going to flip it over. This will make it easier to attach these pocket hole screws. Bun cam, you got my belly cam, I get your bun cam. You like my bun? Ladder done. <laughs> now it's time to build the shelves. We are going to take wood glue down one side, and now we're gonna nail those sides. See, it's totally flush on top of the shelf. Guys, Shaney tip, don't forget to flush. Once you've built five of those, we're gonna spray paint the latter part of the rack and the hardware black, and we're going to stain the shelves. Time to put this on the wall. Use a stud finder, find where your studs are, and attach the rack to the wall using two and a half inch spec screws. Here we go. All right guys, so now we are sliding these shelves into place. You can see that the shelf covers up that cleat. Add your hardware, and you're done. Yeah, you're gonna need to try to decorate it as fast as Ash and I do right here. Go shopping, buy a lot of plates for it. Yeah, think about how much money you saved building it. 